What's up guys, it's Nimbus Reviews here, back with another One Piece video. Today I have a really cool theory to show you guys, and I'm really excited about this one because I believe it has a high chance of actually becoming true, or at least partially true, and I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. But before I get into the theory, in the comments down below, let me know what your theory is on what King's race is, and why it's so important to Zora defeating him. But with that being said, let's hop right into the theory. As you probably already know from the title and the thumbnail, I think I figured out what Oda based King and his race on. With the recent chapters, it has been shown that the key to defeating King is knowing his race. And this has led a lot of people, including myself, to speculate on theories on what it might be. My first thought was to look and find clues throughout the story, like how his wings might be connected to the sky people, or what kind of people would live on the red line. But every road I went down led to disappointment. As I wasn't able to explain things such as why Zora can't damage him or why hiding his appearance is so important to keeping his race hidden. So I decided to look to the real world. I looked at real world myths, theology, and legends like many others in the community, which from what I've seen has led almost everyone down the same path. My first thought, based purely off his appearance and fire abilities, was some sort of biblical demon. But I couldn't find any information that would connect his ability to negate damage to biblical demons or even a fallen angel, which many people have theorized. Doing research on creatures with the ability to manipulate fire led me back to an old theory before we knew what King's Devil Fruit was. The theory that King was going to have a mythical salamander fruit which would have given him the ability to use fire. But again, I was met with something that I couldn't explain. If he was some sort of salamander race, then why would he have wings? Specifically black feathered wings which we learned from chapter 1032 are mobile unlike sky people wings. My search began again. This time more specific, it has to be a creature with wings, one that is known to conjure and manipulate fire, and one that is known to be very hard to damage without knowing what it is. I focus on these three things because since Zora has started his fight with King, these are the things Oda has brought a lot of attention toward. With Queen stating that manipulating fire was a distinct characteristic of the Lunarians, and in the most recent chapter, King states that like the other dragon and dinosaur fruit, his does give him an increased toughness, but in his specific case, it goes even beyond that. As well as Zora bringing attention to his wings being able to move, but he has yet to see him use them to fly, opting instead to fly with the wings given to him by his pterodon fruit. With these things in mind, it didn't take me long to find a type of being that fit the description. And this is where I would like to introduce to you the Jinn, and more specifically, the Afrit. Also, I might be mispronouncing some of these things, so come a little slack, but let's continue. The Afri is a mythical race from Arabic lore and theology. They were one of the first groups of beings created by Allah. They were proud of their form and were granted free will, allowing a lot of different minded Afri to exist, similar to humans in that way, but different from angels who were essentially forced to obey Allah. The Afri race were beings made of smokeless fire, appearing similar to biblical demons, often portrayed with wings and horns, but they could also take other forms, such as the form of animals or even humans. When in human form, they are said to appear blackened by fire or burnt. As well as being able to control fire, Afrit were able to do other magic and were said to be immune to mortal weapons, such as swords, axes, arrows, or any other man-made weapon, with the only way being able to damage or kill them being magic. This obviously connects to the latest chapter where Zora was not able to harm King or even make him bleed with his normal attack. Zora even said that he would have to find out his race before he could damage King. With that brief description of the Afrit, you can probably see why I believe King's race is based on them, mainly stemming from their physical appearance, appearing blackened by fire or burnt, which fits into a lot of people's theories that King is hiding his scarred body under his black gimp suit, as well as their ability to manipulate fire. But for me, most importantly their ability to not be damaged by normal means because that was the only race that I could connect to King with a way to avoid damage like that. And also it's one of the things that was brought to the forefront of Zoro wanting to find out what his race was. It wasn't the fire, it wasn't the wings. He specifically mentioned not being able to damage him without knowing his race. So I thought that would play a big role in dis discovering what race he might be connected to or based on. There are a few other details about the Afri that I think add to the validity of this theory. The Jinn, which is what the Afri are, lived on the earth for a thousand years before Allah sent the angels down to battle them, leaving very few of them left alive. The Afri were also thought to live underground or in desolate areas, usually nearby ruins. Both of these things add further proof that they might be connected to King's Lunarian race, because as we know, Big Mom has stated that King is the last of his race and they're almost extinct, just like the Afri, as well as them living in desolate areas on top of the Red Line, because as we know, the only people who live on top of the Red Line now are the 
the celestial dragons in Mary Joie. Also, them being defeated by the angels and essentially cast out of what is most comparable to a holy land or heaven or a spiritual realm is very similar to a lot of people's theories that maybe King's race is some sort of fallen angel who are part of the normal angel race but were kicked out for doing something wrong. There's a lot more stuff that I found, but I don't really want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop it there. But there are even more connections you can make if you do a little research. I don't think Odo ever goes word for word when he's inspired by things like this from our world. So I didn't want to go too deep into details. But I'm sure other people might if they come to the same conclusion that I did. But with that being said guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and in the comments let me know what you think about this theory. Is it possible? Am I reaching? Or just what about your theory on King's Lunarian race and why it's so important for Zora to defeat him. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. But with that being said guys, until next time, later.